Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf of Carabasa Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. And this weather forecast brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. For the day today, starting out with mostly cloudy skies. We could see some precip move in uh, later on today, being some freezing rain. 25 to 29 for your summer temperatures, 32 to 36 for your base temperatures. With cloudy skies out there, you want to grab those lenses for your goggles that really show some definition, but get out there and enjoy it. For Wednesday, we're looking at cloudy skies, could see some few areas of drizzle, and then at night, we'll see some uh, possible rain showers turning over to freezing rain or some ice and then turning over to snow. So hopefully we get a couple inches on the back side of that system. That would help out greatly, but Wednesday, high temperatures getting into the upper 40s around the base and wind shouldn't be an issue. Thursday, light snow, some sleet possible out there, a high of 30 degrees, chance of snow showers for Friday, 31 will do it for your high, a, 30, a high of 34 on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies. So those snowmakers will be back out there later in the week as those temperatures permit. Birchwood Interiors bringing you a trail report, 46 trails of ski and ride on, 8 lifts getting you there, 37 trails on the groomers list, and we're looking at frozen granular and loose granular conditions out there. 8.30 this morning, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge, Sawduster and Skidway will move you around the base area at 8.30. Uh, if you want to get a little higher on the hill, Double Runner East gets going at 8.30, and Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well to get you around the mountain. Wiffle Tree is scheduled at 9 a.m. to get the lower east side of the mountain. And Timberline, the uppermost lift, that gets going at 9 a.m., and they did groom out Tote Road Extension. East side trails on the grooming list, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Two Hall, and Ram Down, Central Mountain Trails, Tote Road, Bridal Chain, Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, King's Landing, Hayburner, Sluice, Gondola Line, as well as all of Timberline. And they got West Mountain and all the trails around the base area as well down low. Terrain Parks, Tote Road, Spur Line, and Boardwalk are uh, open and in good shape. Snowmaking will resume as temps permit, and uphill travel is a go. There is cross-country skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. There is some wet spots and some uh, thin spots in places, but there is skiing available, so go check that out. Also, uh, the Boom Bakery Cafe and snowshoeing, so go check that out. And there are rentals for everyone, and please stay off the trails if you're walking your dog or just walking in general. There are places you can do that, so be sure to read the signs. Anti-gravity complex, a great place for indoor activity. Under the roof, down at the bottom of the access road, and the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center as well with hot tubs, a swimming pool, weight room, racquetball courts, massage, and that cafe which serves up some great pizza. 45 North, if you're looking for breakfast, apres, or dinner, right in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. And if you need anything, Fodder's Market and Hardware right up on Main Street in Stratton's got it all from hardware to grocery items and Happy Tunes. Great ski tuning, great retail, and they're looking for some help as well if you're interested in that. And know before you go with WSKI TV 17 with our live quad cam. So you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. We stream that on a YouTube channel 24-7. We've got another YouTube channel for our latest local content. You can find us on social media. And always, WSKITV.com.